inviting me up here to speak a little bit about Xamarin today and specifically a little bit more about Xamarin Forms and how we can write cross-platform applications, uh, native cross-platform mobile applications. Uh, so I do work for Xamarin now. I've been there since uh, March and working from Leamington. Uh, it's a great place to work if you're ever interested in working with them and possibly relocating. Drop me a line and we'll see if we can sneak a, a resume in. Um, you can find me on Twitter or my blog. And uh, just a shout out before I get too deep into things, uh, I like to plug my podcast that I do with a guy, Greg Shackles, out of New York. And we talk about things, basically all things mobile. There's definitely a heavy emphasis on Xamarin uh, because we both like and use Xamarin. Uh, but we, you know, one of our last episodes was on just on iBeacons and uh, nothing Xamarin specific about them. So go uh, visit our site or we're on iTunes, anywhere you want to find our podcast we should be. Um, so before I go into the intro about Xamarin, I'd like to, to give a little bit of information about it. Just a quick show of hands. So who knows about Xamarin has maybe worked with Xamarin? Uh, so a pretty good number of people. So I won't spend a ton of time uh, explaining what Xamarin is exactly, but just a quick overview. So essentially we have two products, uh, two major products right now. One of them being our initial product, which is writing C-sharp applications for iOS, Android, uh, and Mac as well. That's one that not everyone realizes you can actually write native Mac applications with C-sharp too. Um, so that's the, our Xamarin platform, we call it. And today, actually, we had an announcement about Test Cloud, which has been released now to the public. Now, it is geared towards uh, enterprise shops more right now, but basically what Test Cloud is, uh, it's a room in Denmark with about, well, now we're over a thousand devices, so a thousand different Android devices and iOS devices. Uh, so we've got all sorts of makes and models and manufacturers of devices that you can actually run your own app live in the cloud on, and it's running on physical devices. And so you basically you write unit tests or, or some kind of uh, testing scripts with Calabash or C Sharp now, and you get to run your applications on these devices and every step of the way that your test executes, you'll get to see like a screenshot of how it looks on every device, any errors that come up and that sort of thing. So really powerful uh, engine for testing your apps, especially uh, we're finding a lot of companies on Android catch so many problems that you just wouldn't otherwise be able to catch just because of the, the wide variety of devices out there. So that's our, our two major products right now. And I'll be talking more about the Xamarin platform, I'm not going to say anything more about Test Cloud, but if you do want to see a quick little demo of the site, maybe come by afterwards and I'll pop something up on the screen. Um, but the Xamarin platform, like I said, allows you to write C Sharp code uh, on Android, on iOS, and of course Windows Phone, we can already do that with Microsoft's tools. So our unique approach, and that we like to think of it as unique, is that we don't want to bring you down to the lowest common denominator of every single mobile platform. That's where we feel that a lot of tools have sort of left developers hanging, uh, where they can't actually do the things they need to do on each platform to make that app a really good user experience. So we let you share a bunch of C-sharp code in the, in the back end. So any code that doesn't pertain to a particular platform is going to work across all the different platforms, and you only have to write that code once. That's like uh, your business layers, your, your uh, web service calls, your Newtonsoft JSON library usage, all of those kinds of things you can write once and it's going to work everywhere there. Um, where we do provide you with specific platform implementations is mostly on the UI side, and then there's also some platform specific APIs um, on iPhone, uh, and, all, and all, actually Android and Windows Phone do also have like text-to-speech service, and so we'll look at that a bit later. So that's something that maybe exists on the platform, but uh, it, it is unique. There is a unique implementation of how to do it, or GPS, uh, or other APIs that we'll see in a second. So if you take uh, Windows Phone, for example, you'll probably, or Windows applications in general, you'll recognize some of those namespaces. Um, they're there, they're part of the .NET runtime, and these are something that we support out of the box on all the platforms. This is that shared backend code that I'm talking about. So you can use you know, system.net.htp client from Microsoft. You can use all those things on Windows Phone. But where a platform like Windows Phone starts to, to differentiate itself is with some of these other APIs that you can see. So these obviously aren't things that are going to work on iPhone or on Android. And if you look at the picture for iOS, uh, it's a similar story. So all of the, the common runtime namespaces, those all work just fine on iOS using C Sharp. And you can reuse your code from Windows apps or from wherever. Uh, but where we uh, differ on iOS is we do actually cover all of the APIs that they have to offer. So that means like Apple has their own framework called Cocoa Touch, basically. 
uh, for iOS. And that includes things like MapKit for maps, iBeacons, and motion and animation APIs. And so we actually expose those as a C Sharp API, and we make all of the, the parts of that API into more of a C Sharp developer friendly uh, API. So we'll use things like events where it makes sense to do that. Uh, but you'll find that if you're looking at Objective-C code, it actually <coughs> translates really well and really easily into the C-sharp code. Um, but it's more C-sharp and less ugly. And same thing with Android. Again, there's some different APIs on Android than there are on iOS and Windows Phone. Um, so like NFC is a, a good example of that. So like, same idea. We have 100% code coverage on Android. Anything you can do in Objective-C, in Swift now, or Java, you can do in C-sharp with Xamarin Studio or Visual Studio. Uh, part of our product offering our Xamarin platform is our designers. So in Xamarin Studio and Visual Studio, we have access to an Android designer. And it's been around for a while, and it's a, a WYSIWYG drag and drop controls around. And actually for a while, it was quite a bit better than Google's own uh, or any other designers that were available for Android. Now, one of the things that we've done is we don't try and abstract away the Android layout system. We don't try and abstract away how the different platforms work necessarily. So we actually output Android XML, it's called. That's the, the, the format, the language that you use for declaring uh, layouts for Android apps in XML. And you can actually go between Eclipse or Android Studio in our, in our designer and, and generate uh, the same Android XML that can be used in both places. We're 100% compliant with how Google does that. Here's just a, this is going to pop up a little video. It might be a little bit tough to see. Uh, this is our iOS storyboard designer. So Apple brought out these things called storyboards, uh, and it's basically just a way to describe your user interface and transitions between different screens in your UI. So we've implemented our own complete designer, complete replacement for theirs. Um, it looks very similar to theirs, except we try and make it more .NET developer friendly, so things like a button, you actually can get a button click event <coughs> handler instead of trying to deal with, and if anyone's ever used Objective-C and dealt with outlets and uh, that whole mess, this is much more friendly. Uh, one of the other cool things that it does, and you can see there that pie chart, it'll actually render custom user controls in real time in the designer. So that, that was actually a C-sharp built user control, uh, and it was just rendering it live in the designer, which is kind of cool. Um, so again, Designers uh, both work in Visual Studio and Xamarin Studio and allow you to write UIs or build your UIs for both platforms. And we don't try and abstract away the platform specific parts of that. So storyboard files, that's an actual um, language or an actual uh, markup language that uh, Apple has created and they use in their own designer. Okay, so that's a little bit of an overview about Xamarin. Um, before I move on to the forms part, are there any questions, anything I didn't cover that you don't quite understand about how Xamarin works or what it is?